today we're starting off with nail prep and I feel like I haven't showed you guys how I do it for a very long time and the way that I do it always changes. I always find new ways to make my life easier and this is how I do it as of now. I just lift up the cuticles using this care bit from Shiny. I like to first go from right to left and then I change the direction of the drill and then go from left to right and I feel like doing this really lifts up the cuticle and prepares it for the next step. And then I use a nipper to clean off the excess skin that I have lifted up using the drill. And today I'm using the nipper from Shiny and I got it from Zilla Beau. You guys can always use my code CRYSTALO for 10% off at Zilla Beau. I get most of my nail products and supplies from there. And then after that, I just buff the nails. And then I like to use the Young Nail Swipe Liquid to wipe off the nail dust on the nail beds instead of alcohol, but you can also use alcohol for this. I then nail prep using the D-Gel Nail Prep, and this is basically a nail dehydrator. And then after my nails are dried, I apply the Ultra Bonder and this is a really good bonder that helps the gel stick onto my nails and it lasts so long with this primer. And then I use the F Gel Give Me Base Gel and I apply a very thin layer to my natural nails first. So this base gel is really good for attaching nail tips. It makes it last so long and it's basically a very thick gel that acts as a nail glue and it's really really good guys. You guys should definitely try it out. Today I'm using short coffin nail tips that I got from Amazon and as usual I'll link everything down below. I'm gonna buff the insides of the nail tips because it's not pre-buffed. There's some nail tips that are but these ones that I got they're not. So I'm just doing that to every single nail and I'm just basically making scratches and this makes the nails last longer. And then using the Young Nails Dehydrator again, I'm just cleaning the insides of the tips so that there are no nail dust left. Next, I apply the Ultra Bonder to the insides of the nail tips where I just buffed. And this makes it last so long. And then I apply the Give Me Base Gel on the inside of the nail tips and then I flash cure it for around 5 seconds. I like to apply a thin layer to cover everything first and then I apply a little more gel for the center part of the nail tips. And I feel like that makes the perfect amount of gel and it does take a bit of time to figure out how much gel to use but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. And then I use the Candy Plus file drill bit from Zillabu and I just file off the edges of the nail tips and this is another crucial step to make the gel X last longer. Honestly, you can use any nail bit that works the best for you, but I found that this nail bit is the best at removing the excess gel, and it's a very strong nail bit too, so I really like that. And I'm just cleaning up the edges by filing them, and sometimes there's like leftover plastic 
on the tips so you don't want that and you want everything to be smooth and then I'm just buffing the surface to apply the gel on top and I've seen some people using a drill to do this and I feel like that'd be easier but I just like doing it by hand and then I'm wiping off the nail dust with the Young Nails liquid again I don't know what it is, I feel like it's alcohol but I'm not sure, I like it better than alcohol and then I'm using the F gel base gel and this is a regular base gel and I'm applying that on top of the nail tips and I really like this base gel for gel X extensions because it's a very thin base gel and I don't like using thick base gels for gel X extensions because I feel like when there's a thick layer on top of the extensions they tend to lift more easily And then I'm using like a syrup gel that I got from Amazon and I really like this brand because they have really good syrup gels and I'm doing two layers of that. And then I'm taking this syrup gel and I felt like this was too warm of a color so I mixed it with a cooler red gel. I like to take the crazy top soft and mix it together so that it's more sheer and I feel like this makes it so much easier to do the blush effect. For the blush effect, I like to take a generous amount of the syrup gel that I mixed up and then I tap the edges so that it blends out. And by the time that it was blended out, I felt like the center was too sheer, so I applied a little bit more gel to the center to make it more dark. I used to do the blush effect with the blooming gel, which might be easier for some people, but I feel like this kind of looks better for me. But it's just a matter of figuring out your own way to do different designs, and I think this way just works better for me. It's a little time consuming but I like how it turns out. I like to cure in between nails for around 3-5 to five seconds so that the blush doesn't spread out too much. And then after curing that, I'm just doing the little designs for the nails. I'm using a dotting tool for this and then I'm missing the red with a little bit of the crazy top soft and then I'm making the little heartbeat design. This is like the main reason why I wanted to do this design. I thought this part was so cute. And then for the cream color, I'm using the F gel in number 79. I love this design. I think it's super cute and it's pretty easy too. If I'm able to do it on my right hand as well, that means it's easy. And I hope you guys can try it out too. It's such a fun and cute little design for Valentine's Day. I'm using the Jin B Clear Fix Gel to attach the little rhinestone on the third finger. And then I'm using the Crazy Top Standard to seal everything together. This is a really good top gel. It makes the nails last super long, even on natural nails. And it's also non-wipe, so it's really easy to work with.
and that is it for these valentine's day nails i hope you guys liked it and i hope you get to try it out as well and i'll see you guys in my next video bye